What's going on guys? So everybody and their cat is doing one of these Sword and Shield alternate art tier lists. So I just thought I would give my opinion and do the same thing and kind of rank things where I believe they deserve to be ranked here. I saw some absolutely bull crap lists um, and yeah, it's time to set the record straight. So um, this is the official, official Sword and Shield alternate art tier list. Okay, first we got Arceus V. Arceus, Arceus, however you want to say it. Uh, this is a pretty beautiful card. There's actually a lot of like symmetry involved, like in the background, like with the um, with the trees and the mountains and stuff. It's pretty beautiful. I'm gonna put it as a A. I think that's pretty fair ranking. Um, I'm gonna be doing this as quickly and as concisely as possible. So yeah, just try and stay with me, guys. Um, we got Galarian Articuno V pretty beautiful card all of the galarian bird uh, alternate art cards are pretty cool um articuno i will put as b though um there is room for some growth i think but it is an overall pretty cool good looking card so um galarian berserker this one's kind of stupid in my opinion um not a whole lot going on with the artwork um so yeah, I'll put that as maybe a D or a C, I don't know, probably a D. I wouldn't be too stoked to uh, receive this alternate art. Um, we got Tornadus, I think, V. This one's pretty bad too, in my opinion, guys. Uh, I think you have some other um, Pokemon in the artwork, so I like that. But yeah, I'm going to have to put that one as a D as well, guys. I'm sorry if I offend any of you with these decisions but we got blaziken v max from chilling rain this was like the big hitter uh one of the big hitters in chilling rain um decent card i like the pokemon a lot blaziken but i don't know i, don't, I wasn't a really big fan of this artwork guys um i'm finding a lot of people ranking this one kind of low so i think i don't think it's a d but i definitely think it's a c for kind of crappy so um <laughs> We got the Noivern from Evolving Skies. This one is a pretty amazing artwork. It's it's kind of like unlike any other artwork um, that we have here. Uh, I think it's really cool. I'd be stoked to get it for sure. Um, it has it kind of has like a realistic realism uh, aspect to it. Um, so I'm gonna definitely put it as a higher ranking, probably B to be honest with you. Now there aren't there isn't gonna be a particular order like in the in the ranking that I give it. Like if I put it here behind Galarian Articuno, like in the B category, like I'm not gonna divide them or separate them like that. Um, I'm just gonna categorize them how I feel. Conkeldur, Conkeldur, that's it. Um, from Pokemon Go, the clear worst alternate artwork um, in the set. Um, the Mewtwo one is a lot cleaner, um, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I like that it's in a stadium, though. I like that it gives that vibe, like it, like a battle is taking place. So I'm gonna put it as C, actually. I don't think it's necessarily D uh, worthy, but yeah, just one step above. Um, the Celebi beautiful card from fusion strike um i pulled this one once actually um and i think i bought it another time um so i've had two of them uh absolutely gorgeous card it tells a story um awesome pokemon and yeah just stunning artwork with this one so i'm gonna have to go maybe s with this one so yeah i'm gonna go s that this alternate art the celebi alt art is beautiful um absolutely breathtaking um, we got Metachamp. I forget which set this is from, but um, you kind of have like an awkward like angle like in this artwork. Like it's kind of like a underneath shot of him like jumping or something. So not too cool in my opinion, guys. Is it worth a D though? Is the question. Um, either a D or a C. Probably yeah, a D. I don't really care for this one, guys. To be honest, we got Haunch Crow. Uh, I think we have a different few different uh pokemon in this artwork um not too crazy um not too ugly i guess I, actually i'm not really feeling this one either guys is that like murkrow underneath on the branch underneath i don't know guys probably a c nothing too crazy um beedrill i really really like this artwork actually from astral radiance i actually had a series on my channel 
um, attempting to pull this card specifically. I just think it's beautiful with like the floral background and all the flowers and just the huge like herd of like beedrill. Like imagine if you saw that, you'd just be like, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm probably about to die from all these beedrill flying at me right now. But um, a beautiful artwork. I love this artwork. Um, I'm probably going to have to put it as A. Pretty underrated artwork in my opinion. I think it's a pretty good priced one too. I think you could buy it for like 30 or $40 or something. Um, Origin Form Dialga V. Beautiful card. I, I bought this one from a shop. I tried pulling it but it didn't happen so I, go, I had to go ahead and buy it. Um, this is a beautiful artwork. I'm going to have to put that one in A as well. Um, we have the Charizard artworks, um, pretty easily obtainable cards. You just have to buy the premium collection, the Charizard one, uh, which I actually have a sealed one in my collection still. I'm kind of waiting to see if it uh, appreciates in value, but um, this one is crazy. Like the Godzilla one, that one's absolutely insane, the VMAX. Um, that one's probably honestly like my favorite one, just like how crazy it looks. Yeah, I'm going to put that one as a B. I don't know why I did that one first. We have the sleeping one. This one's kind of cool. Um, kind of like an old school style artwork. Um, this one, I think it's... Hmm. This one's kind of tough. Um, probably... A C, I'll put it as a B. I'll put it as a B. Honestly, I'll probably put all of them as a B. They're, they're all kind of on the same level to me. This one's pretty epic. He's like, you have the one perspective of uh, Charizard fighting Mewtwo. And of course, there's the other perspective that you can get from a different card. I think in like Crown Zenith or something. Um, you have the Charizard V. This is a pretty dope artwork. I'm not going to lie. Like of Charizard fighting Venusaur. This one's pretty awesome. I always love when there's another Pokemon like in the artwork other than like the main one. Um, this is a pretty badass artwork. I'm gonna put it as a Dragonite V. <laughs> I wanted this card so bad. Still to this day, I don't have it, but I want it. Except it's like super expensive, just like all the other alt arts from Evolving Skies. But beautiful card. You have a few different Pokemon flying in the sky behind them. It has different levels to it. You know, Dragonite is like flying the highest out of all of the Pokemon you could see. But yeah, absolutely beautiful artwork here, guys. I still want this card. I'm gonna have to put it as a S, honestly. I love this artwork so much. Uh, moving on, we have Sandaconda. This one's kind of anticlimactic. Like, I would not be happy if I pulled this one out of all the other alt arts that you can get. Um, D, for sure. He's just like wrapped up on like a kitchen floor or something. Like, <laughs> nah, that ain't it, bro. Duraludon V, I actually, this was my first ever alt art that I pulled from Evolving Skies. Um, compared to all the rest of them, it, it sucks, you know. There's a lot better alt arts that I would much rather have from Evolving Skies. Um, it's just such a stacked set. Um, but I think it's a pretty cool artwork in my opinion. Uh, you got, um, I think his name's like Rik Rikon or R something, his trainer and him. And you have Rotom in there too, all like eating and having fun um but yeah not the best uh artwork from evolving skies obviously but i feel like it's pretty solid um it's kind of cool shows a different perspective you know um i feel like it might be a little bit better than a C. yeah i'm gonna put it as a b that might be a hot take but this duralodon v max is just trash in my opinion d horrible artwork Gengar VMAX per big hitter from uh, Fusion Strike I think yeah Fusion Strike pretty big hitter um, I'm not too big of a fan of like the whole like VMAX like his mouth kind of like looks like a tunnel of love like carnival ride kind of like and you just like go in his mouth and that's the beginning of the ride um, I know it's a very desirable card but I think it's kind of overrated in my opinion um so i'm gonna put it as b as well um i'm not really basing like my placements on like the value of them just strictly off the artwork so um, i know it's a very valuable card but that doesn't really change my position on it so we got sneezler 
this one's kind of lame you have a nice like background like sunrise or sunset but not too crazy see Kasuyan Lilligant I think I pulled this one before um, they're like ice skating and stuff I like that there's um, a few Pokemon underneath the ice that you can see and yeah there's like a bunch of um, cameos of different Pokemons which I like so I'm gonna put that as C as well what is that Galarian Rabidash um, I guess it's kind of girly you know uh, there's a bunch of sparkles and flowers and like glitter and stuff but if you like that kind of stuff I guess it's okay but nah I will put it as D honestly even like for a guy like it's just kind of it's just kind of anticlimactic like it's nothing special like it's not gonna take your breath away it's just it is what it is all right the breakdancing genesect um also from fusion strike wow there's kind of a lot of um alt arts from that set but this one's kind of cool kind of has a funny take you know for artwork um he's breakdancing which is kind of cool i'm gonna give it a b it is what it is all right next we have the giratina alt art from lost origin pretty dope looking card i like how it's like very abstract and it, it has like the black it just reminds you of like a dream state like dreamland and he's like there to rule your dreams or something um kind of on some like freddy krueger vibes or something but pretty dope artwork honestly um i think it's better than a b i'm gonna put it as an a it's a pretty awesome uh, artwork in my opinion glaceon v i have this card it's a beautiful artwork hand drawn it looks like um you just have glaceon on the bench with like a single flower poking out it's simple but you know it could tell a story i think it's pretty good so i'll put it as a um not s material but almost glaceon v max uh, i actually dislike or i i like this one a little bit less than the glaceon v um you have a bunch of different cameos of pokemon which is cool pikachu etc but i'm gonna put it as b i can tell b is gonna be our most popular category here all right we got golark v carrying some logs um this artwork's okay it's, it kind of actually it's kind of bad i'm not gonna lie um if you like golark i, I guess it's okay uh, i think you have a few other pokemon just like actually no i don't think so yeah this one's not very good um i'm putting it in d sorry ladies and gentlemen um galarian zapdos v this one's pretty cool i like how he's walk like running up the side of the mountain that's pretty dope like who's not a fan of that um i'm gonna put it as a i like what they did with the um the galarian bird uh, the birds the galarian bird um pokemon in general pretty cool i think it's from chilling rain honestly um but yeah i like what they did with uh those birds so uh, we got blissey blissey v the pink one it's okay it's okay dude i i can't put it any higher than a c if yeah i don't know probably i don't know i like the colors i, I like pink personally but there's just not it doesn't tell a story there's not a lot going on it's just it's not very good so either a d or a c i gotta put it as d i'm sorry i gotta follow the same criteria um we got luminian i think um this little fish dude is called um uh, i actually really like this one um i i don't know i guess i just like underwater like themed um cards um it just looks different has a different type of vibe to it um but still not very high probably yeah probably let's see like they could do so much more to make these so much like more special um i like how like clear and clean the water looks though in this one like whoever lives like near this water is taking good care of it they're cleaning up their trash they're cleaning the water they're not leaving their plastic bottles and stuff in it it looks so clean and like drinkable we got Inteleon VMAX uh, don't like this one looks really goofy in my opinion I wouldn't be stoked to get it D we got Machamp V kind of a more cartoony artwork um, it's pretty good I like it 
uh, more than the past few ones, but um, I like how it's telling a story. He's kind of helping out, carrying a bunch of stuff as he does a lot of the time. I'm gonna put it as B, honestly. S Beyond V. I really like this artwork. Um, I have this one in my personal binder. Um, I like how he's using his psychic powers to like take out or put back the books. Um, so his powers are applied in like a real life uh, scenario. So that's really cool. I really like this card. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. Um, I bought this one. I didn't pull it, but I think it's really cool. It's an evolution, evolving skies, super dope. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it as A. But this next S beyond V Max is phenomenal. Like just like looking at the card in real life, like it looks great. Like the V Max like are like more speckly, like more shiny, you know. And just the SB on V Max looks so good. Like it's probably one of my favorite cards. I pulled this one myself from Fusion Strike. Um, and like the gemstone in the middle of Espeon's head just like shines so much. It's like beautiful, bro. I love this card. It came out um, in that like premium collection collection in Japan before Fusion Strike. And ever since I saw it, I was like, wow, that is a beautiful card. So that's definitely going in S, guys. We have our third S. Let's go. Next, we got Mew V. I pulled this one as well. Um, pretty cool looking card. I still have it in my collection. You have like a few different Pokemon in there with it, with Mew. You have uh, Toxtricity and like Smeargle in there. Um, pretty cool. Um, it's either going in A or B in my opinion. Um, I'll put it in A. It's, it's a pretty good artwork. Mew V Max from Fusion Strike. Um, pretty cool artwork. I want this uh, card still to this day. I don't have it. I like how it's like kind of multi-dimensional it looks like because like cars and like it's kind of chaotic like there's cars floating everywhere and different items going everywhere like you can tell the power like is being displayed in this card in this artwork um, I really like the look of it I still want it to this day so A for me Mewtwo V from Pokemon Go I really like this one some people don't really care for it but it reminds me of like uh, Detective Pikachu where like the um, the Pokemon are kind of in a more realistic environment um, and I really like that I like that um, take on it I like that perspective so um, definitely either A or I think it's A honestly maybe even S nah A is good I like that card I pulled that myself I was happy. I actually pulled the Hyper Rare Mewtwo, this Mewtwo, the Alt Art, and the Gold, like all in one like opening. I was like, what is going on? We got Rotom V. Uh, it's okay. Not a whole lot going on. Um, I'm going to put it as either a C or, yeah, probably a C. Umbreon V. I actually like, I don't know. I like them both the same, honestly. Both Umbreon's and Evolving Skies are like pretty good. Um, I like them both. I like that there's multiple Pokemon. Like there's a Pinsir and another Pokemon in the V. But of could that Moonbreon is just like really cool. It reminds me of Starry Night by like Van Gogh. Um, I like that he's reaching out to the moon. So I, I like these both the same, honestly. Um, <laughs> they're probably they probably have to go in S, huh? They're beautiful artworks. Like, there's so many good artworks in Evolving Skies. That's why it's such a valuable set. Um, moving on, we have Sylveon, another evolution. I love the Sylveon artworks too. Probably just as much as I love the Umbreons um, and the Espeons. Like, <laughs> all the artworks in Evolving Skies are like really good. Um, except for the Duraludon, sadly. I placed that a little lower. But even that one's not bad. Um, Sylveon, probably the V in, um, in A, and V Max is like re a really beautiful card. I'm probably going to put S. Beautiful cards. The V Max versions tend to, I tend to like a little more because they're, they're just so shiny and like eye catching. The V's are a little bit more tame, a little bit like duller, but you could really get those like nice details in it. Um, we got Origin Form Palkia. 
This one's okay. I like how like confusing it looks almost. Like cause they're like the Pokemon of like time and space and stuff. You could tell there's like shifting like around in space and time and stuff. So I really like that it kind of brings that aspect to it. Um, I'm gonna put it in B, I think. Yeah. Um, we got Leafy on V. This one looks pretty nice. Um, I think I like. I don't. I think I like the V um, for this one more than the V Max. Um, the V Max is nice too. Um, don't get me wrong, but I think I just like the V more in this one. Um, I think I'm gonna put that in A, honestly. And the V Max can go into B. Yeah, I think that's how I feel about it. Empoleon, we're getting into some battle styles here. Empoleon with the Phalanx. Uh, I like the pose. I've always liked the pose that this Empoleon is like doing right here. He's doing like a kung fu fighter like pose, like sitting on a rock or something. I like that pose. Pretty good. I like it. I'll put it in B. The Aerodactyl from Lost Origin, I still really want to pull or buy this card. Um, it just gives off like big Jurassic Park vibes. I really liked it. Um, th this was kind of my ultimate chase card from Lost Origin. I really like it. Um, I'm going to go with A. Just like the overall uh, theme of that one. Gives like a prehistoric vibe, which is really cool. Flareon. From the special collection boxes, I actually have um, all all of these promo cards. I, I was gonna say the box, but I forgot I opened them up. But at least I still have these promos. Yeah, they're right here, actually, in this binder. Um, where do they go? Here they are. See, I got the Flareon V Max and the V, the Vaporeon and the Jolteon. All of them still really love them i like the v probably more than the v max for the flareon um the v is really cool he's like starting the fire with like his powers and stuff or i like to think um so it tells a story i'm sorry i gotta go with s for that card it's a beautiful card um the flareon v max uh it's actually not very cool like it's cool but like not as cool as some of the other ones in in that collection um, I like the executor like chilling right there, but I'm gonna have to go probably like uh, B on that one Rayquaza V from Evolving Skies. I actually sold this one um, I'm not really a big Rayquaza like guy. Um, I pulled this one myself from Evolving Skies um, I like this one more than the V Max. I don't think I don't really like the V Max at all It's just like very like clustered in my opinion but the V is okay. Um, I'm not, I don't like it enough to hold on to it, obviously, because I sold it. But probably like a B, honestly. Not too crazy for that artwork. I do like it more than the V Max, though, as I said. But um, actually, I'll put this one in A. Or wait, yeah, I'll put this one in A. I like how he's like towering over like the trainer there. But yeah, and the V Max in B. Um, we got, what is that, Hisuian Slowking or something? Uh, this one's pretty cool. Kind of has like a trippy, trippy vibe to it. He's just like <laughs> chilling, just like he looks stoned or something. Just like laying there. Um, I feel like that's like his ultimate, like all-time state that he's in. Slowking. He's just like tripping out. Um, I like it though. Um, probably gonna put it in A. I like the abstractness to it like the different colors and stuff it's pretty cool pretty unique uh greedent i'm not really a big fan of greedent um shout out to all the greedent fans out there but nah not really for me we got um what's that single rapid strike urshifu um this one's cool it's probably my favorite urshifu card that there is honestly um so if i was to pull them i, it, I would prefer it this one um probably a b for this one i like I, I don't know i like this one the most out of all of them um so probably a a actually it's pretty cool actually no i take that back i want that as b the v max is actually my favorite this is actually a really cool looking card there's like all of the um different pokemon in this one it looks really nice uh yeah, if there was any one of them of the Urshifus I would want, it's, it would be this one, the VMAX. 
Uh, these I don't really care about. This one looks bad, in my opinion. Like, the artwork is just bad on this one. Like, I don't like this card at all. This one is okay. Like, I don't really care for this one. I'll put it in C. Clarion Moltres V. This one looks pretty nice, honestly. I like how, like, the moon or whatever is in the background. It's kind of like a silhouette. Um, it's pretty nice looking. I'll put it in A. I would keep it if I had it. Um, Shadow Rider Calyrex. Um, I actually sold this card too. Um, but that doesn't mean like I hate it. Uh, I think it's okay. Um, I like how it's like given that snowy like ambiance to it. It's a chilling rain card, so it's pretty fitting. Um, but yeah, I didn't I didn't like it enough to hold on to it. But I still think it's all right. Um, I'll put it in B. Um. This one, I I think I, I don't know, I probably like as much as this other one, honestly. I like that it's like mid-leap, like he's like jumping, like in the sky. I think that's a pretty good angle for that Pokemon, but this one sucks. C, this one sucks. D, actually this one's a D too. Um, Sleepy Tyranitar, the chase card from Battle Styles beautiful card i have it in my collection one of my favorites <laughs> like how you have the the pokemon hiding behind the tree like <laughs> fearful of their life um but it's probably safe now that um, tyranitar is sleeping but he just ate so much he's in a food coma great artwork i have to put that one in s love the sleepy tyranitar uh, I, I, I opened up a lot of battle styles trying to get that one but it never happened so i had to bite the bullet and buy that one um yeah i still have that one great pokemon great artwork um these these cards are beautiful i love the um the vaporeon cards from that collection the special collection boxes um these are beautiful the v max is absolutely going in s the v max is beautiful um the v is also beautiful but I don't like it as much as the VMAX actually, so I'm putting it in A. Still a really nice card. As you guys saw, I still have all of them. I'm never probably going to get rid of them or sell them. Um, but yeah, beautiful cards with um, with that whole collection from the boxes. So um, Then Jolteon V. This one's pretty cool. You can see him like jumping from building to building super fast, like the Flash style. Um, super cool artwork both these uh, i probably like the v max a little bit more the v max i'm definitely gonna put probably an a i don't think it's quite s tier but both of them are beautiful so i'll put this one in a as well and then we got zoro arc actually pretty like i don't know i pretty like i actually like this artwork pretty well um for some reason it reminds me of like avatar the last airbender just like with that pose looking off on the horizon. You have Sneasel in the back too. It kind of looks like Zoroark is like the leader or something. And like he's trying to communicate something to him. Um, I like this one as well. Um, probably going to put it in B. So this is my official Sword and Shield alt art tier list. Let me know if you guys disagree. If you guys agree. Um, but yeah I feel like I did a pretty good job on it. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace out.